mind um, totally destroyed the southern economy when it uh, infested the, the cotton crop down there and ate it to pieces. Farmers just couldn't make a living. They'd have two thirds, three quarters of their crop would be eaten by the boll weevil. You couldn't tell necessarily from the outside. The cotton ball would look okay, but when you put it in the gin, the inside was all rotted out. Save me a ticket. You throw, have to throw it all away. So farmers turned to tobacco as an alternate and found that in fact they made vastly larger quantities of money doing that. Now, to the detriment of everyone's health for the next hundred years, but who cares? The boll weevil, uh, once an enemy, turned out to be such a friend to a number of farmers that there's actually a statue to the boll weevil in a little town in South Carolina. But it occurs to me after, um, you know, kind of reading some of uh, Pollen's book, The Des Desire of Botany, and uh, the movie Food, Inc. and whatnot, that maybe we could replace corn with another crop you could smoke. I don't know what that would be, really. But maybe it would be better for all of us. We got rid of a little corn, Add a little something else. So this one's to the bowl we And I'm, I'm gonna play this little thing right here. And we'll follow it with that rarest of all items, a song by Pink Man. So if any figure Pink Man would have heard of this band, we do have a heart band. Those who remember Pink Man uh, sent him a little energy, would you? Two, three, deep.
Mama told me so. 